Having ridden and tested each of these three helmets uh, recently, I wanted to offer my thoughts and feedback about uh, which might be best for you. So I think the Araya XD3 is probably the most popular and most famous of these dual sport helmets that's been out in the marketplace for quite a while. Ewan and Charlie riding around the world and things like that, everybody's seen that. Showy Hornet has also been out for some time now. And uh, just making its way into the market is the EGV AX8 Dual Sport, which is brand new and I've just had the past uh, week or so to, to test. So, um, you know, take first the category of fit. That's going to come down to each individual rider. You know, what shape head do you have versus what, you know, what size and shape offering does each manufacturer have. It's going to be a little bit different. I find that for me the showy happens to fit the best. That's why you can see this one has the most use. It's called this discolored a little bit after a couple of good years of uh, use, but um, you know, you might fit the AGV or the Araya a little bit better. That'll be up to you, but um, the propensity toward fogging up, which of the three, for me, I thought they were pretty equal. Uh, you might want to look for whichever models. I believe the Showy, for example, has that pin lock system available to add a, a second layer of a, a screen up front and help with fogging, but honestly, as they come from the manufacturer, I thought all three models were about the same in their tendency to fog up. So. Uh, the ventilation that runs through with vents that open in different locations and help you keep cool. I thought they were all pretty equal. Actually, I think the Showy maybe flows the best where I can literally feel the air moving through the helmet helping me keep cool. So, um, the weight, uh, I think you'll find according to the actual numbers and equal sizes, the AGB is the lightest. Showy very close as well, but the Araya definitely a little bit heavier of the three. The AGB absolutely feels the lightest of the three to me, the most like I was actually riding a more of a motocross helmet instead of an actual you know full screen dual sport helmet so um the quality of construction i've got to give my nod to either showy or araya the agv is not bad there's just a little bit of a feel to it i guess the way that it's specifically the liner to me you find you find this out for yourself but the liner doesn't seem to want to hold its position as nicely as the other two do so that's just what i thought um the visibility factor, AGV does absolutely win as far as I'm concerned. As far as when you've got the helmet on, how is your peripheral vision and your vertical and your down vision? The AGV, as you notice, has a lower pointing jaw piece like this that's going to allow just a, a large screen. Take, pick, take a look at pictures and you'll see a very large screen on that helmet. So, Of course, the price of the helmet is important. Uh, do your own research and figure out what the costs are where you're going to buy. But I think the AGV right now is the lowest cost option. The, Showy being the middle price and the Araya being uh, the most expensive of the three. Do your own research on that. The most important factor to me though, all of the things being sort of equal between the helmets, is the peak itself and how much it's fluttering while I'm riding. What I mean by fluttering is that I can get into certain riding situations with, with these two helmets and the peak has such a flexibility to it that it'll start fluttering like this with the wind as it's coming over the, the windscreen of my motorcycle and that fluttering such shakes the entire helmet, shakes my head, causes my eyeballs to feel like they're vibrating while I'm riding. That's an unsafe situation. So I am going forward with the showy at this point. I think the reason why the other two are fluttering like this and vibrating so much is that you've got two points of connection for the, for the peak here on the side. Two points of connection only. The showy has a third point up here on top and of course the two on the side. And that combined with maybe having a a smaller peak, maybe a slightly stiffer piece of plastic to begin with, ends up being an, a more rigid peak design for me. The other two are just too flexible, and again, I can end up with that fluttering situation that's dangerous in my book. Um, you know, it's going to be different for every rider. Maybe some of you can ride these two helmets and not end up with that fluttering situation. We all have different heights, our torsos are different lengths, different riding positions, different motorcycles with different windscreens different add-ons to windscreen, so it's going to be different. Maybe some of you will have good success with these two helmets. Again, all other things being kind of equal between the three, I still think that this is the only one I'm going to ride because it's the only one that does not end up fluttering like that. And um, so I'm about to reorder a new show and freshen up this one. It's just time to get a nice clean one again. It's been a while on this one, but uh, I'm going forward with the show and um, you make the decision for yourself, but uh, I hope this review helped.